This is a 70 year old female here for pain in both thumbs. Uh, she has significant osteoarthritis in the first CMC joint. We're going to go ahead and just inject it some cortisone and touch a lidocaine. We use about a half a cc of methylprednisolone with a quarter of a cc of lidocaine. We're going to use ultrasound guidance just to kind of help guide the needle into that joint. Here we're going to go over first. CMC joint injection, very common injection in the office. Here we can see the thenar musculature, which we're making translucent, and now we can focus on the first CMC joint. This is going to be a ataplane approach injection, where you will only see the needle tip, if that, or perhaps just some tissue movement using the jiggle technique. We're going right above the CMC joint with the needle, and then we're injecting into that recess right above the joint. Here's our first metacarpal. Here you can see the metacarpal base abutting the trapezium on the right side of the screen. Quite an arthritic joint. It's going to go proximal, and that's our CMC joint. Pretty arthritic. Here again is just another view of the joint, and you can see it pretty clearly how the surfaces are essentially abutting each other. You can see a little bit of a space there. So the question is. And here are some other structures. You can see the scaphoid all the way on the right side of the screen and a glimpse of the flexor pollicis longus tendon. Here's our tendon going across that looks like probably. And here's just another view of the flexor pollicis longus tendon going all the way across. So we're going to go basically a volar radial type approach. Um, Join here. Here's our metacarpal, so it's right in the space. I'm going to go short access to the needle because I don't think you're going to see much of a needle here. And here we are pushing with a uh, iodine swab, and here we're a little bit too proximal. We want to get between the two bones, and again, we seem to be a little bit proximal on this approach. So certainly you adjust for that when you plan your injection. Spray. And you can really just see the tissue move uh, through basically a jiggle type technique and just get little glimpses of the needle in short access and it appears to be in a good position. Some of the injector going within the joint, you can see how it's distending the capsule and spreading on both sides of the joint. So we're doing her right side now. So right side of the screen is distal. You can see her first metacarpal, and there's her CMC joint, also pretty arthritic as well. And here's a nice view where you can. See uh, first metacarpal base trapezium scapulate all right next to each other in one view. The joint really in the middle of the screen. Now we're just pressing over it. Clip. And again, our target, we seem to be pretty much on target for this approach. Again, getting ready to do uh, injection, short access to the needle. And for very superficial injections, I prefer short access to the needle, as even if you would use a long access approach to the needle, you may not see much as the needle is just going to go in a couple of millimeters. And also in this particular injection, short access to the needle allows you to see the joint very clearly, as you can clearly see the trapezium and the base of the first metacarpal right next to each other. Here's our needle tip right in the joint, so essentially just inject at this point. And there's an injector filling up the joint. 